Hello, this is Rick. I forgot to film the last part of this where I was filtering it. it did add some more muriatic acid and peroxide to it. It did turn somewhat green and I did filter it. Then I rinsed it with some water and spritzed it down with water out of my spritz bottle. Then threaded the cap off, poured a little water in on top of it, slurried it around a little bit, let it sit until it had filtered, then I put it in this same glass dish on top of the gas stove in the house and let it dry out. And now here I am out here, and I am fixing to incinerate this in the crucible and add the flux to it. And run it through a fire assay here in my furnace and convert it down to a bead. So, I guess I am ready to start doing this. Okay. Take this. Fold it carefully. I'm doing this with one hand. This is not the best way, but generally I'm not filming what I'm doing either. So, set it off over here. This is the way I incinerate stuff like this. Generally it's done on a little protein pan burner. Something like this with a steel pan. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm actually going to light the filter inside the crucible and burn it down to an ash. And after it's burned down to the ash, then I will take my flux here, assay flux. This is a standard assay mix. It's what I use on ore. And I am going to run it with this flux, and it will produce a lead bead, a lead prill as it's called. I will take that prill, and I will put it in a scorification dish. This dish right here is one that I used. And it's all green because of the copper, of course. And there's going to be a little bit of copper contamination in that. And since I'm splitting the bead into two exact beads, instead of going through the acid Clorox method, I'm just going to run it through a fire assay and clean it up the rest of the way. And then I split the bead and I prill into two exact weights and cupel each weight off and come up with a bead, two beads, exactly the same weight. And I'm probably going to go ahead and reuse this glorification dish right here. It's not going to hurt. We don't care if we add a little more gold to the lead, do we? I surely don't. Since this is used for removing impurities, it's not going to matter that there's copper in here. And the copper will just get mixed into the litharge and get slagged off. It's not going to hurt at all. Here's another one that I had used on a copper ore. It's got all kinds of green in it from the copper. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and quit rattling my jaw and get on with what I'm doing. I'm already three minutes into this, and I've only got an eight-minute time limit on this thing. So, we'll burn it up. And as you can see, it burns pretty easily. It's because of the nitrates that were left. Well, not nitrates, but definitely an oxidizer. I'm thinking as if I was using nitric acid. I never did put any nitric acid on this. The only oxidizer it's got is what was left in it from the peroxide. But as you can see, it's enough that even in a confined space, this paper's burning up pretty well. The whole purpose of reducing this to an ash is if I put the flux in there and fired it, the paper would flow it up to the surface of the flux, and it would get blown off in the furnace, and I'd lose the gold. I've made that mistake once in the early years. Learn one quick. It only takes once. That's why I'm ashing this down. Ash it down, kind of pack it down a little bit, then put the assay flux in on top of it, pack it down, and then I'm ready to put it over there in the furnace, fire up the furnace and let it go until it's all molten, and then pour it off into my mold over here. I guess that's something else I can show you. This here's my mold. It's made out of the end of a drive line from a vehicle. Took that, welded it to this plate right here where the U joint attaches. Took a small piece of wooden dowel, drove it in U joint yoke. 
it's all tapered on the inside it worked pretty well actually for producing the bead not bead but an ingot I guess you could call it it's called a prill and a fire assay but it works well for that oh come on here's a little plastic stick here yeah you can I don't know if you can see that inside there, but eh, I want to pick it up and show you. If you can, get out here in natural sunlight and hope it works. I think I can see in gold in there, I don't know. Anyway, I get the spec off my view screen. Thought I had something strange going on. But. We're trying to get this back up here where I can light another chunk of the paper. It'll burn up real easy. I just got to get it lit. Must be careful when you're doing this because if you were to do something stupid like have you know, gold chloride in this and have ammonia mixed with it, and you dried it and did what I just did, it could blow up. <laughs> Turn your crucible into a hand grenade in front of you or some crazy shit. Excuse the language, but yeah, I'm sitting here rattling my jaw talking. Mentioning the hazards involved, they're real. Anyway, I'm having a hard time doing this one-handed. So, what the heck? Is there any way that I 